political season is heating up and uh, later on I'll be speaking uh, to lawyer Ivan Boe who was in the meeting that I will be referring to very uh, very shortly and in that meeting he was representing the petitioner. That's us uh, kicking off. The Electoral Commission has failed to resolve uh, the standoff between the National Unity Platform uh, leadership and three others over the party's constitutional amendments. The parties petitioned both the Electoral Commission and the Courts of Law. In a meeting that lasted hours today, the Commission noted that the parties will have to wait until a court pronounces itself on the matter. However, the National Unity Platform insists it will not be derailed by such actions, stating that the law will be employed to resolve the matter. The day began with a delegation of National Unity Platform led by the Party Secretary General David Lewis Urongoya, leading a team of party delegates to the Electoral Commission headquarters to forge a way forward of a petition to the Commission by three individuals, David Ekalet, Wagai Safi and Del Wilbert Omoni, in regard to the party constitution. The engagement meant to resolve the constitutional amendments, however, hit a dead end after the chairman, Justice Simon Biawakama, told the meeting that they cannot deliberate on the matter which is before the courts of law. I think there have been issues around the, 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 the party constitution, and, uh, but that issue is in the court, is before court. And uh, the commission decided that there cannot be, they couldn't proceed to discuss that particular matter. The Secretary General to NEP, David Lewis Urwangoya, is however not convinced with the decision. These are just simply wasting their time and our time. So there's basically no complaint. Someone is behind them. So our, our view is that maybe they are being, again, uh, influenced by the state or some self, selfish individuals. He adds that the reason behind their constitutional amendments was to cater for diversity in democracy, arguing that all means possible will be employed by NUP to come to the core of this complaint. We are going to sit as uh, the team, as, as the leadership of this party, and agree on the way forward. While the Electoral Commission explains that the engagement was to fulfill its mandate as a custodian of political parties, NUP says the Commission gave audience to those whose intentions have continued to be questionable. So today we are telling them why didn't you tell us that there was a complaint all this time because we did not know about it until uh, just a few days ago when they, they wrote to us. Shamim has been on the, this story and if you've been here for some time you recognize her voice and she's with us this evening. Shamim, uh, could, could that be the only reason really? Not just that, the Electoral Commission is sued alongside the National Unity Platform before the courts of law. So even when by law it's expected to be an arbiter in these matters of political parties, it is constrained. So only the courts of law will resolve the current standing matters between the National Unity Platform and the other party members. As I mentioned earlier, we do have Ivan Bowe, who is a constitutional lawyer, but also in that meeting he was representing the petitioner. Uh, Ivan, thank you so much for joining us uh, uh, this evening. Um, the petitioners that you represent, were they happy with the outcome? Uh, of course, uh, we wait for the decision of the High Court, but as it stands, the constitution that the National Unity Platform wanted to gazette is not gazetted which is a win on, 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 on the side of the petitioners as we wait for the final decision of the High Court. Can the court case um, in any way, shape or form throw the National Unity Platform all off its feet as we head into 2026? Everything is possible. I will not predict the worst, but all I know is that the truth about who is lying shall all be out for the public to see and analyze. And, and, and in a sense, finally and very briefly, in a sense, is this a spanner in the works of some serious proportion? It is a serious issue. It's, it's a serious issue and uh, the country should keep alert. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, constitutional lawyer Ivan Boe there. You know lawyers. They're very, very tight-lipped. But from what I can sense, even from his answer, some good news is out there in the works. I don't know for who, <laughs> I don't know for which party, but 